Welcome to Trust News Summary on Trust TV. I am Ayuba Ila. Thanks for joining. Here is the news in brief. The presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, says he is set to industrialize the nation for a better standard of living. Tinubu, who spoke at the Confluence Stadium in Lokoja, said that he knows the roads that will fix the economy of this nation better than any other candidate in the forthcoming presidential election. Presidential campaign train of the opposition People's Democratic Party docked in Damaturu on Wednesday, where the candidate Atiku Abubakar promised to restore peace and security, as well as open all the borders in the country if elected to lead the country in 2023. Addressing party faithful in Damaturu, Atiku promised to restore the country's wealth and also ensure that children return back to school and face their studies. The National Universities Commission has ordered the closure of universities across the country to enable students to participate in the 2023 general elections. In a letter addressed to vice chancellors of all universities and directors of inter university centers, the NUC noted that the directive, which is based on the directive of the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, is effective from Wednesday, 22nd February 2023 to Tuesday, 14th of March 2023. Finally, the World Health Organization on Thursday said that the deadliest cholera outbreak in Malawi's history has killed at least 1,210 people while vaccines remain scarce. WHO said in a statement that active transmission was now ongoing in 27 out of the Malawi's 29 districts. Now, with the country seeing a 143% increase in the number of cases last month compared to December. And that's it for Trust News Summary. Watch more via all our social media platforms and also on our YouTube live stream. I am Ayuba Ilea. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.